Yes, you are really killing your artwork. This mistake ruins your work and makes it difficult for you to improve. You make artworks that are good, but they are really bad. You want to make artworks like this. You want people to shout at the artwork. You want to make hyper realistic artwork. You don't do it like this. The mistakes you are making are ruining it. You want people to marvel at your artwork when they see it. They will be like, wow, what is this? This is so beautiful. But you don't follow the processes, the processes all these pro artists use to make their work look hyper realistic. Although the mistake differs from artists, some artists have a mistake of sketching, some have been shading many types of places. But this video explains all the mistakes and how you need to correct them the first place you make mistake is as a sketching that's the outline you really need to make your outline look good before you start shading it is very very important don't say it's just the first stage that first stage is really, really important i took a lot of time in making the outline of a joint in making the sketches so you need really need to find a specific way that you make this sketching and it will be very very helpful for you you can use grid for this you can use freehand you can also use lewis method lewis method is the one that you use all these shapes you use circles you use your ruler all this stuff trying to get the particular space the particular shape of the human hair before you start you really need to learn it any one of them that you choose if you choose grid make sure you learn very well so that you will not make mistake at the sketching again when you start shading the second tip clean your artwork when you need to really dig into is the technique you are using for shading. If you are a pencil artist, graphite, pen artist or you are drawing with any other materials, you really need to look into it or you are drawing with salt. Salt right? It sounds insane but artists use salt to draw. Yeah, this is a Nigerian artist who uses salt to draw. It sounds insane when I saw it first but he is really good in what he's doing so as you should be good in pencil or pen that you're using to draw and as he's using the sort he's really good in the sort he's using to draw if you want to learn it you can search about it and browse about it and be perfect in it before you proceed to draw with sort okay let's go back to business so let's talk about pen when it comes to pen you can use just hatching for your drawing you can also use hatching and cross hatching you can use scribbling to scribble like using scribbling throughout in your drawing so me this artist that use scribbling throughout in all his drawing he's really really good i can recommend him for that he uses scribbling to achieve the skin texture hyper realistic making beautiful artworks with pen getting those skin pores and skin wrinkles in a drawing it really worked out for him but though it didn't work out work out for me that's why i'm telling you that you need to find out the one that works out for you before you can choose the process or the method the technique you want to use the okay, scribbling work for him doesn't mean that it will work for you it really differs like me scribbling didn't work for me someone like oscar scribbling does not so his own he uses hatching cross hatching and scribbling at the same time that's how he gets this marvelous artworks and marvelous looks in his drawings it's really beautiful and you has the odd to say wow i want to make artwork like this but you really need to learn all those stuff find out the ones you want find out the technique you are really good in before you start shading now see what i mean by hatching you're just making a one direction line like creating line in the same direction this is what i call only hatching and i've made drawings before when i started with this technique and this is what I got. You can use it to make hyper realistic artworks if you are good at it, but it really didn't work for me. When I was starting, this is one of the walls that I used and make with only hatching. This is hatching and cross hatching. Hatching and cross hatching is creating the same thing you did in the hatching and then using an underline to cross the lines in the opposite direction this is cross hatching and cross hatching use it in different parts of a drawing to make the work beautiful to make the work hyper realistic but it is no match to hatching cross hatching and scribbling but here is the sample of what i did when i learned okay, this, this is method. one of the drawings that i made when i learned this method newly it is not the only drawing i made with it others are beautiful people use it to get marvelous artworks 
So let's talk about hatching, cross hatching plus scribbling. It's the same method about hatching and cross hatching. You first create your lines at di one direction, then cross it with another line in different direction. Then you use circle to write scribbling on top of the ones you created. What are scribbling? Scribbling are tiny circles. I'm making it big so that you can see what I'm doing clearly. But in a drawing, you make it more tiny so that it's going to be more beautiful and hyper realistic i also made joints with this method and here is one of the samples this is a join of caving art i made with this method and it really looked beautiful i can say that this is the method that works out for me this is how i pick the method and i use it to create these two the method was really 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 working out for me it might not work out for you but i want you to try all these methods and see if it will work for you now see when i was starting also i made a drawing about scribbling to scribbling and this is what i got it's really really not encouraging this is very nonsense I advise you try all of them and pick the particular one and practice more on it and get your work look beautiful and hyper realistic Next to the tools you are using for shading, you might be using an aggregated tools for drawing and making the work look nonsense and not beautiful. You need to upgrade more in your tools. If you are using graphite, find a better product. If you are using pen, find a better product. Better product I recommend for pen is Big Pen. It's really really good. If you are using pencil, go and find a better product for pencil. These are the things that will help you and also look into the other materials you are using for drawing if you are using pencil browse about the monozoro eraser so that you can get one for yourself make beautiful artworks and get good results to your client be really, really good in your artworks but what is stopping you from getting a beautiful artworks are the tools you are using so i advise you should upgrade in your tools also look into the paper you are using for shading this particular paper that i use for this drawing is not a drawing paper you can't use an ordinary paper for drawing and expect to get a wonderful artwork like all these pro artists you you have to get a paper good paper for drawing first this is one of the good papers for drawing especially if you are using pen this is called crocodile paper and there are other many papers there are glossy paper there are needle point paper straight more paper there are many lots of paper just Take one and make marvelous tattoos. Stop using all these local papers for those drawing. It will make it look insane and at the end you will not get what you want. Drop any question you have or any video you want me to do for you. This tip I'm about to tell you will help you very very well in your artworks. You will improve more. It will make your work photorealistic. Have you ever thought of getting a soft edges in your drawings the way it looks in a picture? then do this both for pencil pen artist graphite if you're using color any other thing you nearly need to try this try get those soft edges in the drawing and your work will look like it is a real photo try get those blur effects on a drawing and it is really really easy to achieve after making a drawing then add the edges of the drawing shade softly blending to the white paper that you have already made it is that simple that is how i made this one that is how other artists have been making the artworks it has it makes it look unbelievable that this is really a drawing especially with pen and other stuff any other material you're using you will get the same thing and it's has helped many artists these tips is very very crucial and it's common it's very simple try it in your artworks and you get wonderful artworks now take a look at this big this drawing and also this one you choose the one that looks more ready two of them are good but choose the one that are real real i'll choose this one because i like good things this artist really tried in this drawing it makes it look very very realistic now softening the edges and all those stuff the drawing is amazing i must say that in any of the methods you, you choose try to perfect yourself in it and get wonderful and amazing artworks with a drawing hey don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel 
for videos that will help you in ads this channel get to cover just click this channel and you see tons and lots of videos that will help you they are really really helpful any tutorial you don't understand drop a comment i will get back to you any video you want me to do just also drop a comment i will also get back to you